There are a few different ways to consume VR at this point. You can go high-end, maybe an expensive headset, hundred, hundreds of dollars or more, or maybe low-end with Google Cardboard, which was literally given away for free at some points. Uh, it can still be bought cheaply for anyone who wants a gateway entrance to the VR experience. The problem with this, though, is that companies like HTC, uh, Oculus, Sony, they're working with very expensive headsets that uh, will help you with spatial audio. And what that is, is maybe your movement would uh, be able to have audio that matches it. I mean, maybe you turn your head to the right and you hear rustling, turn your head to the left, you hear breathing, maybe that would increase. There is amount of time uh, between, there's a lag between if you hear something from the right side first of which ear would hear it, at, at what intensity. Um, and spatial audio is very important and does help immensely with the immersion process in VR. The thing is, Google Cardboard to this point didn't really have it. And it's important that it does because this is many people's beginning experience with VR. I mean, this, is, this could actually help signify whether VR is a massive success or failure in terms of accessibility. So uh, with a recent update uh, to Google Cardboard's uh, what is available to developers, they have made it so spatial audio will be available, which uh, makes it seem all that more important uh, to the industry as a whole. Yeah, it's great. Hey, that's the one thing, and even m people who make movies are like, who make like normal movies mm -hmm. are, are say like, you know, the sound design is immensely important. Mm -hmm. I mean, it can be super obvious in things like horror movies. Some people would even go as far to say that the audio quality is more important to the video quality. Yeah, it's great. You know, we, we've all been in the theater and like there's a missile that goes by. Mm -hmm. We've all gone to Best Buy when they're playing 300 and someone throws a spear and you're like, what happened in that part of the magnolia? you sweet <laughs> but and and to add that to VR it just seems so intuitive and I'm glad that they're taking uh, you know an active step to make it more available and it's and it also is like yeah some people are saying like it's Google Cardboard mm -hmm. you know, Google Cardboard for anyone who's had it it's a cardboard viewing device that you slip a smartphone into and it gives you a, a lower end VR experience to be fair I mean we have these other devices again from HTC Sony oculus they're more game oriented they're designed to have an extremely immersive game experience but this uh, what Google cardboard is working with is generally more maybe more cinematic maybe yeah, like was, a short uh, film. For Comic-Con, when Conan was down there, they set up a 360 camera on the stage at one of the, at, you know, whatever it was. It was a theater where they were I was they in the audience it. for really? one of them. Yeah, I saw the, the X-Men day. That's awesome. Yeah, I got great. to go backstage with the Conan team. Just oh. know, so you guys know where oh. I was at. You probably saw it on Instagram. Okay, so proud. Probably saw it. Not Anyways, a big deal. But uh, by backstage, what I mean is I got to put on a Google Cardboard. <laughs> And you look this way and you see the audience it's, and then you turn around and you can see on stage. So it feels like you're sitting on stage and you get to see the live studio audience just by moving your head, mm -hmm. holding this cardboard thing, which I think at the beginning when I first heard of it was great. It's like Google's like, so you're going to like Facebook, you're going to spend billions of dollars on this like really expensive thing, mm -hmm. Oculus. And we we like, we may, we like, Spent 20 at, at like big boxes. Yeah, well, see, the thing is, like, this is how you get your introduction. I mean, yeah. I've actually, I, I recently did uh, the consumer Oculus. Oh, uh, yeah, how was it? Uh, it was so good. It was like nothing I've ever experienced before. It's really, I know it's expensive, and I'm not sure I'll even buy this headset, uh, but I think it's, it's, it's like nothing I've ever experienced. Like, I think this generation's kids will not remember a time where this wasn't a standard. Yeah. I, I played with the PlayStation one. Oh, the Morpheus? Yeah, and yeah, it was... Yeah, I've done that before, too, but not recently. I did it at uh, Comic-Con. Yeah. And it was I mean, it was just a very simple game where you're just, like, trying to move things and move your head so that, like, Tetris-type blocks can get through a hole in the screen. Mm -hmm. um, but the whole motion would just really does add a whole new level to the experience, and I thought it was, I thought it was super awesome and fun. Well, see... It needs to be, even the entry experience needs to be amazing, or people will just write it off and be like, I'm done with this. I'm right. not going to invest anymore. I'm not going to try anymore. I'm going to move on to the next thing, or I'm going to go back to whatever I was doing before. So even the entry level needs to show you that this is an experience that's different from what you've experienced before. Yeah, and I want to I wanna know, because it's like the shape of our ears mm -hmm. really 
evolutionarily, I'm sure, has colored our experience of where sound is happening, how close it is, mm -hmm. and earbuds versus around the ear, like oh, yeah, bows. Yeah, yeah. I wonder if if they have two different experiences for that. I mean, you have that. like surround sound, you also have like different chambers, yeah. like tech, that kind of technology, like on the lower end. I mean, there's a lot to be excited about, I think. I mean, I really enjoyed the expensive experience that I yeah, but I, I'm what I'm hoping is that it inspires the rest of the industry to be like, well, I've made this thing that's just as good, but it costs two hundred dollars less. Or well, I've made this thing that does this other thing that we haven't even thought about before. Audience, what do you think about where VR is going and how much audio plays into it? I think very heavily. Let us know below in the comments and please like and subscribe for more.